Hey guys, so it's been a long time since I dropped in a tutorial or a guide video. So this one is for those who play Rainbow Six Siege and seem to have connectivity issues. Now, many of you guys would get disconnected or have uh, high pings or even see those three annoying icons on the top right corner of your screen while you're playing. Now that is pretty much annoying when you are in a ranked match or whatsoever. So hope this video helps you out. Now obviously you would have visited this website uh, searching for any type of help that's possible. But after reading all of these things, probably these two are the only things that you would have understood if you're not in the technical field or whatever. But I'm gonna try and help you out. Uh, we don't really need to focus on all of this right now. But if you want, you can try it out. Uh, we'll be focusing on the port forwarding thing and I'll be telling you a few other things as well. So to get started, all you need to do is open up your command prompt by typing cmd and run screen. Uh, you don't need admin privileges. We're just gonna type in ip config. So once you get the screen, now make sure that you're connected to the ethernet. Now, I advise you to play any multiplayer games only when you are connected through ethernet. So over here, this is the only in screen, the info that we would need because I'm using ethernet. So do not close the command prompt and enter the default gateway in your browser. So it'll ask you for a password or a username, just type in admin and admin. Mine was already logged in, so I directly came into my router's uh, main page. So over here, you'll see a lot of options. Now your router might be something else. Now if you are a TP-Link user, then this will be pretty straightforward for you. But for others, it might be different. So let's get started with forwarding. As it says, we're gonna be doing port forwarding here. And under forwarding options, you see virtual servers port triggering DMZ, UPnP. So this is the enable UPnP. If you wanna enable UPnP, then just get over there and enable it up. I have enabled. And for port forwarding, we'll go to the virtual servers. Now you need to add a new service port. So Ubisoft has already uh, given its service ports, what this does is it allows your system to directly connect to the servers of the Ubisoft or Uplay PC as mentioned through TCP. So we're just going to click on add new and enter the service port. Since it's the TCP method, make sure that you select the protocol as TCP. So once TCP is selected, um, make sure the status is enabled, of course. You don't need to go for the common service port, so we wouldn't need that. Now it's time for you to enter the service port. Now you can choose any of these above, so I'm just gonna simply go with AT. And gonna drop down AT over here. Now IP address is your IP address, of course, so mine is over here. I'm just gonna quickly add it over there. So that's exactly my IP address. Now once that's done, all you gotta do is save it. So the service port is added. Now another thing you can do is go to DMZ and enable it up. For the host IP address, make sure that you enter the IP address, the IPv4 address over here and click on save. All right, so once the TCP method is done, the port forwarding is done, let's move on to the host file. Now obviously you can click on that and follow these methods but if you're not able to get it i'm going to be showing you how to do that so i'm just going to be opening up the windows explorer and uh, head towards my c drive and windows and then search for system 32 and just just follow this directory so we go to drivers and then etc. Over here you have the host file. And what you gotta do is copy it down and save it somewhere else, like I have it over here, so that it's a backup and nothing goes wrong. And then you can open it up in your any notepad that you want. 
So this is the actual content that should be present inside your host file. This is how a fresh host file looks like. And that's pretty much what's uh, given over here. You need to copy this content and paste it over here. So that's this one. Once that's done, save it down with admin privileges, of course, and close it down. So once that's done, let's move on to the next step. That's the flush DNS. So for this, what you're gonna do is uh, tap on Windows plus X key on your keyboard and then get over to your command prompt with admin privileges. So this will open the command prompt with admin privileges. Once that's done, get over here and type ipconfig space slash forward slash flush DNS. So once that's done, it should have cleared your DNS cache. So what this does is it sometimes hogs the web servers uh, pretty much and blocks the incoming and outgoing packages. So this helps in that way. And these are pretty much the steps that are given here. So I hope these methods help you out. And if it does, leave it in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Hit that like button below. That will encourage me. And I will see you guys in the next one.